Our next honoree is somebody that I really don't need any papers for. Uh, my mother and her were, were best of friends. They both went to the Juilliard Conservatory together, were excellent musicians. Lavinia Pointer passed away <coughs> uh, earlier this year. Uh, she was 92. My mother would have been the same age. Uh, just an extraordinary educator, musician, someone who's cared so much about people and children. She is one of the founders and supporters of uh, this program here, the Words of Bonds Project. She also uh, was the founder and leader of a great, great group called the, the Great Day Chorale, which really uh, supported and fostered uh, and carried on the legacy of the Negro spiritual uh, in this country. There's so much I could say about Lavinia Pointer, about what a great woman she was. But I think when you meet uh, her relatives that will accept the award on her behalf, you will understand the legacy that she has left behind. To uh, present the award to Lavinia Pointer is Winston Wellington, president of Negril Education Environment Trust. Uh, the daughter of Noel Pointer Foundation will receive the award for Lavinia Pointer. Good evening, everyone. And thank you for giving me this opportunity of being here today. I just flew in from Jamaica on Friday to be here for this great event. And indeed, it's a wonderful occasion. It's a wonderful thing that Mr. Bill Thingling and his organization is doing. And there's a little thing I want to say about Bill Tingley and his organization. I myself have an organization in Jamaica. It's called Negro Education Environmental Trust. And over the past seven years, we have been giving away books and computers. And without the help of Bill Tingling, that could not be possible. And we have built, since last February, eight libraries in Jamaica. Every library has 10 computers and 1,000 books. And without Bill's help, that could not be possible. So I'm here today to thank Mr. Bill Tingling and his organization for the great work that he's doing, not just here in the United States, but in the Caribbean as well. However, this evening, the great lady that has just been mentioned, Ms. Laverne Pointer, is Lavinia Pointer, is the great lady who has done great things for words of bond. And I, it's my honor and pleasure to make this presentation to her this, this evening. And thank you very much for her being the person that she is. And I want to just thank you, thank you, and your family. You. My pleasure. My pleasure. My mother would have just been overjoyed this evening. She's gotten many awards throughout her many, many years of life here on this earth, but I think this is one that would have been dear to her heart because my mother was about bringing people together. When we first started this evening, um, I believe his name is Groner, the first recipient. He said, we have to learn to sing together. And that really zinged something home to me because that's what my mother was about. She didn't care what color you were, what age you were, or what your religious affiliation was. She believed that song and the word of God would bring people together and do all the healing. Thank you so much, Mr. Tingling, for including us in this wonderful uh, celebration of life and of love and of unity. Thank you. Well, I will just say, um, mom was mom. We met in 1964. My wife and I have been married for 30 years this year. And so it has been family for a long, long time. Um, she was an extraordinary woman who had a great legacy. Her mother was an educator from South Carolina who came up bag and baggage to New York City toting her three small children. 
and the legacy that she brought here as one who bought up property in Harlem and would find people coming with their shopping bags looking for Miss Olive Mae White, who could help me. Somebody told me in South Carolina to look for Miss Olive Mae White. This was Miss Lavinia Pointer's mother, and my wife's is her namesake. And this woman would house and give home and give counsel. She was a praying woman who did counsel to people. That extended through her children. And she, her, one of her three children, her oldest, was Lavinia Pointer. And mom's home was a refuge for many. Interestingly, mom's home was in the midst of the Hasidic Jews in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. Her influence, her love, her friendships extended to thousands, countless thousands. Her memoriam and, and, and funeral was amazing, beyond a rainbow. And the legacy goes deep. So there is a triumphal spirit. There is an indomitable strength, a ceaseless vision that came forth from that daughter of slaves. And we are proud to stand here tonight and honor her and you all. Thank you so much.